it's another beautiful day down here at Black Point Marina. It's kind of a slow one. I mean, it's the winter. Hopefully, we'll get a little action today. And this is not good. Our crew was launching their boat, and he backed up just a little too far. And here at Black Point, and even at 79th, another ramp we cover, it doesn't take much. If you get those rear tires wet, oh, this is, he's got to be careful. You get these rear tires wet, the ramp is just so slick, you're going to struggle getting out. And even right here, he's got nothing on the trailer. So it's not like he's got a bunch of additional weight there. Oh, man, he's got to be careful. He's staying on the brake, which is a good thing. You can tell, the easiest way to tell for me is that third tail light above the cab. But even right here, he's hitting the gas with the brake, but it's because he doesn't want the truck to roll backwards. I mean, if he lets off that brake and just guns the gas, more than likely, this truck's going to slide back. His buddy's telling him to hold on, and it looks like that, you know, they'll get in the bed of the truck, but typically, this usually isn't that big of a deal down here. When I say that it's not a big deal, it's kind of a little bit of a fit because we've seen plenty of trucks go in down here at Black Point. Lots of trucks took the Black Point swim. But usually one of the key things is there's usually a ton of people around, but because this is a winter day, it's not that busy. So there's not a whole lot of assistance to be had down here for them. And I don't, looking at this, the two guys that are sitting in here, it's not going to be enough weight. They're, they're not going to get out on that one. It's just too slick. Don't back up, bro. Don't back up. I mean, he's thinking in his head that he's going to try and readjust and get some momentum, but he's taking momentum the wrong way backing up. He's stuck. He's One of two things is going to have to happen here. We're at a point now that somebody's going to have to assist him and tow him out, or they're going to keep messing around with this, and this truck's taking a swim. And that's one of the keys to recognize you find yourself in a situation like this, you don't need to play with it too long. Once you realize that you're stuck, go ahead and stop. Because any more effort you give likely is going to send you in the wrong direction. And try and grab help. I mean, even here, it's slow, but there's still trucks in the parking lot. Somebody's going to come, and speaking of somebody coming along, somebody's going to come along that can offer help. And with no weight on this trailer, he doesn't need a ton of help. He just needs to get this truck up high enough to get the rear tires dry. And another option you can also do is try deflating those rear tires just a little bit, just to see if you can get a little more rubber on the road. But as slick as it is right here, I still don't know that's going to help a whole lot. So they're going into the toolbox. So it looks like our guy in front of them is going to give him a hand. This is definitely a tense situation when this happens. I don't. If you've ever had this happen to you, let me know a little story about it in the comments below. The one time that it's happened to me, it's nerve-wracking because you think you're just going to pull forward, and next thing you know, your truck starts sliding back, and you just have to remember to hit that brake. And I still think that's where a lot of these trucks wind up in the water. People panic, and you get into a fight-or-flight mode, and basically it makes them just want to hit the gas which is actually the wrong thing to do. Those rear tires, if you give it more power, they're gonna spin harder and you're gonna go backwards. And one of the best things you can do is try and accelerate out as slow as possible because you're just, you're trying to get grip. But they've made the right move here. Once you determine that you're in trouble, go ahead and get the tow. There's no point in continuing to fight if you can just do something as simple as what they're gonna pull off here, hopefully, which is hook a little strap up and get a little pull. Now the strap they pulled out of the back wasn't all that thick. So let's hope once they get this tied on here that this strap holds and these guys can get this vehicle out of here. Okay, so it's taken them a few minutes to get this strap tied up good, but it looks like we're about ready to go. The strap wasn't all that thick, so I'm really just hoping that strap holds because that can cause another failure that would definitely put this truck back at risk. But just slow and steady wins the race on this one. We just get a little tension in the line and just slowly pull. Just trying to get that momentum going forward. And it really didn't take much. That was it. But these guys, fortunately, they'll get this one pulled out and we won't see a truck swimming, at least not today.
And this crew, I mean, they launched a little deep. Their tires are wet as well. Hopefully they have a little better luck than our last crew. And with them being a little deep, the boat's floating too. So this guy in this rear here is probably watching to make sure the boat loads correctly as they get going on the trailer. So here we go. They'll get grip and they'll get this one out pretty good. That one's funny. Just because he yelled, yo, my man thought something was wrong. So you got to be careful with the words you use around the ramp because the person driving the truck will stop pretty quickly. And here comes our crew in from a day of fishing. <laughs> we got somebody taking the nap on the back of the boat. I mean, the stern's a great spot just to lay out, catch a little Z's and a little sun. And our crew's making their approach. Kind of missed. He hits the brakes a little bit. Comes back in reverse. Oh, watch the stern. Watch the stern coming into the concrete. And we're going to give a little push off. Oh! And it's a light hit, but it's a fairly nice boat. And I can tell by the way Cap's looking, there's a little concern about that hit. I mean, I can tell on the on this, this side of the boat that we're looking at that it looks pretty clean and pretty good. But they'll get it pulled over and they should be all right. But I'm curious if Cap's going to be upset. You'll be able to tell pretty quickly because people will start looking at the side. Like we just saw the young lady look down the side. Let's see if anybody else comes over here to check for the damage. And yeah, <laughs> he's taking a quick look, but it looks like we'll be all right. And it's always a show when the croc shows up. If you guys are ever around Black Point, it really is interesting to see. Cameron doesn't do it justice. He is absolutely massive. And somebody's fed him something. If you look close to his mouth, you can see he's swimming off with it. And is going to take it on out of here. That's one way to do this just swim by grab lunch and get on out of here and speaking of getting out of here we're going to get out of here as well thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode of miami boat ramps if you did please check out our other content we have wavy boats who does a bunch of great things down at hollover inlet my channel broncos guru we do some great comedy boating videos over there as well and of course we've got boats versus hollover where man and machine take on mother nature down at hollover inlet in miami florida and if you guys haven't already go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here